Hello and welcome, I am Aruma. Thank you for joining me. We're on episode number 23 of Let's Game Decadence as Cadiz. We are the Abedi Empire. We are Badsha Omar II. Now I've revoked, I've requested the revocation of all of the counties in this land. And because they're subjugated, they have that plus 45 opinion, they're pretty much guaranteed to accept. Um, they might say no, but very rarely. So we're going to let one round of revocations happen. And then as soon as those are done... I'm going to go way over my domain limit for a second. Then I'm going to quickly take a look at these counties to see which ones... Some some of them actually had two counties. So we've got Melgil, and that's that looks like it's about it. Everything else is the proper setup. So we'll wait for that last guy, and then we'll press the button. And apparently we have to press it again since we had so much land. So now we have proper religion people in charge. By doing this, we lost all of the money that those former characters had. Like, take this county right here, for, for instance. Lusignan, whatever. Um, this county had a history of um, being owned by this boy here. This boy left the realm with 142 gold when I revoked it. Then I had it, now I gave it to this guy. So 142 gold left just that one county alone. But, now we have a vassal who has 100 opinion of us because we granted him a county, he's the right religion, right culture. It's just, it's just, you're trading money for everything being good. We can usurp the kingdom of Aquitaine, and uh, rather than create the duchies myself, since we're already up to there, let's just, um, let's just take a look at the du jour borders of Aquitaine, and let's give it to this guy. Here, congratulations, you're the king of Aquitaine. Oh, in order to do that, we're going to need to create all the duchies to make it smooth. That's right. Okay. Um, how many duchies do I have to create? Four. I don't have enough money for that. We're only making 200 gold a year. Do we have any people we can ransom? Could banish my uncle. Oops, I did not mean to do that. I actually did not mean to do that. Now he's going to cause decadence, darn it. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to press the back button. Do you have any money? No. My half-brother. Let's just execute him. Another half brother, execute. Goodbye. Another half brother, execute. We need the money. I am their, I am their heir, of course, because they don't have any kids. How sad. All right, so we get some ransom money. Okay, so now let's go ahead and create these other duchies within the kingdom of Aquitaine. And I don't have enough money for this one. That's expensive. I'm way over my duchy limit right now, so that's actually going to piss people off quite a bit. And there is a peasant revolt. Where? Up there. Alright, well, let's grab the army of England then. Go take care of that. I have a child. My half-brother needs an educator. Uh, he did end up becoming a strong, brave character. We'll keep him alive for now. Let's educate him ourselves if we can. Apparently I already have two, two stupid women here. Somebody else take her. They automatically get assigned. I don't want to do it. So I want to educate my half-brother so that he likes me better. And if we need to, we can keep him alive, and he'll be a backup plan to my own children. Because my children aren't geniuses or anything. And I just have the one wife. She's strong, I'm a genius, we'll keep trying. But I'm not sure if it's going to work out. <laughs> we'll see. That's retinue. I need a little bit more money, please. We're getting 30 gold a month. Mostly due to city taxation. 
but being over the domain limit or the uh, the duchy limits, it's a pretty big penalty. <clears throat> Tech-wise, we're quite a long ways away from another level of legalism. Mm, pretty close to new military organization. Let's get our guy studying technology again. See if we can boost up that a bit. Abbasids are engulfing the Byzantines. This is like the game of Muslim success. I have success, they have success. Okay, po Poito. We need just a little bit more money, like one more month. <clears throat> Come on, give me some money. There we go, create that. And now we'll give it away. So here, you are now my Sultan of Aquitaine. Everything included. Except for this, apparently. Oh, you should already be beneath him. Somehow they ended up beneath me directly. Okay. Melgil. And Narbon. Nice, clean kingdom there. Excellent. Okay, so now we get one big levy from them. Soon. It's not fully reinforced, but... That's good. Uh, nope. I'm not going to have any part in that because I'm probably the one that set him up that way. We have one little tiny army of mercenary or of uh, peasants running around. Propag propaganda machine, of course. All right, pretty happy with how that's looking. Um, now, me as a character, I can raise eighty-five thousand troops right now. The Holy Roman Emperor has a meager forty-two thousand. Let's see if we can get him killed before we attack. And surprisingly, there are people who want him dead and would support me as a Muslim trying to kill him. Look at all these little mares and things. Anyone anyone with power that maybe we can bribe? Alright, so one of them surrenders. Here, like 20 gold to get you involved? Thank you, yes. Anyone else? I'll spend a little bit of money on that if we have money. We don't have any money. We'll try to get him killed first, because he is a kind and patient man. There's a lot of a lot of assholes that don't like him, but having a short reign penalty instead of a long reign bonus would be better. Plus, him being kind is unacceptable, and he has a lot of prestige. His son has no prestige, so it would go. It would be easier for me. He would have a smaller levy, most likely, if he died. I could take on 48,000, but there's no reason to, to make it worse. Oh, and, and actually, let's go on a hush before I forget. Oh, shoot, we're going to have to end the propaganda machine. That's fine. We'll end the propaganda machine. I need a tiny bit of money so that I can go on my hajj. Let's go on our hajj. Can you usurp Duchy of Brittany, finally? That's something I do want to do. Although, I'd like to stick that underneath the uh, Kingdom of West Francia. We don't own that yet. So things are going pretty well. Um, once we destroy Hungary, or uh, once we destroy the Holy Roman Emperor, there's not going to be much that stands in our way. In fact, it might be better at this point to just declare a bunch of these small wars. Let's at least wait for the Hajj to finish, though. Just let the, le the levy replenish slightly. I have a half-brother who became Midas Touched. Okay, this is the one we're allowing to live. And I have another half-brother who became a skilled tactician. This one is the one we won't. He's fled. That's unfortunate. Um, I'll invite you. You want to come back to court? <laughs> That's unfortunate when they get caught. Normally, if you really want to prevent it, you would want to... Um, gained one health. Awesome. That's really good. If you really wanted to catch him, you'd take your marshal and plant him wherever all your brothers are. But I don't really care about it that much. Decadence just isn't going to be an issue. We only have two people causing it. One is my half-brother, the, the one that we might end up playing as. Let's make him our steward. 
I'll get rid of his decadence. And, uh, you know, I already have a son, so we don't need to use that character. I'm just hoping that uh, we end up with a better character. Alright, Hodge is over. We could clean that up, but I think they'll take care of it a bit on their own. Let's take a look and see how this plot's going. He still has 60,000 men now. The other thing that I really do need to start working on is... If I'm going to do this quickly, I, I do have to attack the Abbasid, Abbasid Dynasty. I can't ignore them. Because they are going to be the ones that take the most time for me to conquer. Unless I could inherit his dynasty. That would be the best way to do it. I need to marry his kids. <laughs> Political concerns. He already knows what I want to do. But the only way that I'm going to be able to consume this entire empire quickly is if I get a, a claim on the empire. And the only way I'm going to get a claim on an empire is to marry into the family. So are there any people in this family, in the empire, any women who have claims to it? That's what I need. I can't press a man's claims. Like, I could press this guy's claims, but that would not... It's the same tier as my current empire, so it would not be underneath me, no matter what. What I need is a woman that can make babies that has a claim to it, that's not married, preferably young and fertile, with a hunchback, she's greedy. We're looking for number one, the lustful trait. 39 year old lustful woman. Here, how about this one? She's young, she's not married, that's for sure. Let's uh, arrange a betrothal. Excellent. She has a weak claim on the Abbasid Empire. Uh, yes, we'll accept and join that. We're going to backstab you soon. Okay, come on. Fire the plot to kill the Kaiser, please. I need to kill him so that I can attack. Here, Murphy's Law. If I start declaring other wars, he'll end up getting killed right away. What would be the best war that I could do? There we go. See, look. I start looking around. There there goes the plot. Like Denmark, for instance. Denmark took over all of Norway and Sweden. Ah, now we can do the invasion of Norway. That's good, because that'll give us a good front frontal spot we can use to expand around the back and encompass the whole map. We don't have enough piety, though. That's one of the disadvantages of my character. He's too young. And we just lost Humble, which is going to affect our ability to get piety. Alright, we need to do some Holy Wars so we have enough piety to declare. So let's do a uh, couple con conquests. A Holy War. A conquest. Um, let's see. Truce time with him. Holy War. Holy War. Holy War. Holy War here. That holy war, and this holy war. That'll give us quite a bit of piety. We need to get one here, too. And do I want to mess with these? I think so. It's kind of a pain, but I've got to deal with them eventually. Okay, raise the men for this, and uh, hopefully that other guy will die soon. So, um... You guys are kind of tiny. Do we have boats here? Thank goodness we do. What do you know? You guys go sit here. You guys can stand down. Let's actually split this into three separate armies. One here, one here, one here. This thing can all go here. I have no boats up here. 
boats, 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 boats. There we go, 32 boats. That'll work. These guys are too small and weak, too small and weak. All of the wars that I've declared were way, way, way up north. So let's just grab all these guys and rally to, say, here. 34k, 42k, that's a good spot. Go to there. That's a nice supply limit. And we'll go win all of these wars, get some serious piety so we can declare our next round of invasions. Converted something, good. That was my guy. Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna need the rest of the boats, that's for sure. Go ahead over to Navarra. And uh, the realm is very stable, very, very smooth succession. The lowest opinion is only at zero, and that's because he's the wrong religion. So we send him a little bit of money and then demand his conversion. And one of my holy wars just ended, that's fine. A few of them were bound to, to go away. And this guy's now converted. He owns that land there. I prefer him to not actually be... Uh, my vassal, but... And there it is. My father's legacy continues. The vassals raise too long penalty. It's not surprising, is it? <laughs> Let's just actually put all the boats at sea. Okay, so I think this invasion will go quite well, or these, these wars will go quite well. Eventually this plot will murder the Kaiser, and then we will be ready for the invasion of the Holy Roman Empire. He only has 60,000 men right now. I bet he goes down to like 30 or 40 when he dies. So, alright, I'm going to take a break here. I will see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching. See you soon.